Hey, what's up y'all? Welcome back to another video. This is Littleton Twilight, which is kind of the biggest crit of the year in Colorado. This is the Cat 2-3 field, um, but we're also fit mixed with the uh, Masters 1-2-3. So it's like over 80 people. Um, and this is a fast one. We averaged over 28 and a half miles per hour. Um, and things kind of kicked off <laughs> right from the start. And uh, this turn we're coming up to is always probably the most technical turn on the, the course. And you can see if you look at the rider in the red, he's just going to kind of go straight, force people into the curb. Uh, so crash happened and you can kind of see the whole field uh you know got held up in that so <laughs> right from the start we were on and i was glad i was able to to avoid that but now things are super strung out so i'm just going to try and uh close the gap here this rider's going to slot in front of me so um just going to get behind him um and you know there's a lot of teams in this race so kind of the the main ones to watch were ardor racing which is the team that guy right in front of me and right behind me um and then groove who's in the kind of neon uh yellow kit and then primal had a lot of riders as well but there was definitely a decent amount of strong uh solo riders and uh so you had to be able to watch for them as well you can kind of see right now there's a little bit of a gap getting up the road but you know this is the first lap so i'm like i'm not going to expend a lot of energy trying to close this because for one these ardor riders in front of me they don't have anyone up there so um and there's other teams as well and i'm you know <laughs> with it being the first lap there's a lot of motivated people to close this down um, so I'm just going to kind of slot in these wheels here. Um, but there ended up being a rider, a uh, Bear National Team rider, who uh, <laughs> ended up getting a pretty big gap on the field. And a few laps later, you can see this Arter rider is going to attack up the left side. Um, and he's going to try to bridge up to that uh, Bear rider. And so, again, I'm not too concerned because, for one, you know, it's only two guys um, and there's multiple teams that aren't going to be up in that move. Um, but additionally, this is a fast race. You know, we're going 28 and a half mile per hour average for the whole thing. So, you know, you'd have to be able to hold, you know, 29 or so miles per hour to, to stay away, um, which I figured was probably pretty unlikely. So I'm just going to kind of try and hang mostly in this 20th wheel somewhere in this position to try to you know maximize the draft but also not to have to have too many accelerations from being too near the front when people attack and having to close the gap um so pretty happy with this position but i also just wanted to be mindful of not starting to get a little too far back because that's when things get a little crazy further back in the field but now the field has kind of brought back those two riders. So now everything is going to be back together. So now I'm just kind of like, all right, when is the <laughs> next attack going to be coming? A few laps later, things have been pretty fast. I've kind of faded a little further back. I'm kind of probably around 30th position or so. Um, and this is when, you know, I'm kind of like, all right, I, I don't <laughs> think I want to be hanging back here. And uh, yeah, these two riders randomly come together <laughs> um, and so now I'm gonna just try to find some places to to move back up I kind of want to get back into that 15th to 20th position um, so I'm not really hanging back uh, behind here but I'm also just trying to keep my heart rate in check you know trying to not uh, go too <laughs> too hard so it's down to like 180, which I averaged 178 uh, for this race. So it was kind of like basically hanging out mostly in threshold uh, from a heart rate perspective uh, for the majority of this race. One lap later, this is when things kind of start slowing up on the front. So I'm like, all right, there's probably going to be an attack coming here. And sure enough, people on both sides of the road go. So I'm going to try and just go around this left side um, to get a good position coming into this turn. And take this pretty good. Um, and I'm going to have to close this gap because that Arder Rider has, you know, a guy up the road, so he's not going to close it. So 
gonna have to put in a little bit of an effort here. Um, I was not too worried about this move, but it felt, <laughs> you know, worth closing since it was like five riders and they got a pretty big gap um, initially. So I ended up closing this down pretty quick and ended up uh, kind of just dissolving and no one really wanting to work at all. We now have five laps to go. And this is where I'm like, all right, time to move up. I want to kind of get into, you know, roughly the, you know, 10th position uh, for these closing laps. And so I'm going to try and get it on this right side, but kind of get pinched by this groove rider. Uh, but then I'm going to let him go by. And then there's this big line that's on the right side. So I'm going to take this, you know, use a little bit of that gutter. Um, and get around a bunch of riders. Um, take this turn pretty good. Um, and yeah, so, you know, was able to make up a little five positions there. Um, and then this rider kind of starts dropping the wheel. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna have to go around him. Um, but then the groove rider ends up closing the rest of the way. Um, but I'm gonna try to pull around on this outside, um, but then it kind of closes up, so end up <laughs> end up going right here, um, and I'm able to kind of get by some more riders. So, you know, within a half a lap, I was able to move from whatever, like 25th position to 10th, um, and did it relatively efficiently. My heart rate did kind of go up a little bit, so, you know, 185, but it's gonna come down. Uh, pretty quick and you know now we're gonna be coming into uh, four laps to go so things are definitely heating up we now have three laps to go and we'll kind of let the rest of the race play out because it was pretty exciting uh, finish and take that turn pretty good but we're gonna get pinched between these riders um, and you know this is when <laughs> things get really interesting especially you know as I've seen moving up in the categories it's such hotly contested um, you know everyone's battling for positions a lot more than they were in cat three and uh, so but I'm just gonna try and uh, you know fight maintain wheels where I can um, but I kind of get forced back a little bit here um, you kind of see that was <laughs> some people not taking those turns uh, too great but um, still maintaining position, but I'm am gonna be looking for places to m move up a little bit because um, you know as soon as you start getting any further back than this position is when you really start getting swarmed. But I really have my heart rate under control right now, 174, 175. So I'm really trying my best to you know keep things as efficiently as possible, so I have as much in the legs as possible for the sprint. Um, and I'm going to kind of find this outside line, able to pass a few more people. Um, so I'm now kind of back in that around 10th position. Um, and so, but I'm just really going to try and hold this, um, but also try and be mindful of not letting people pass me. But this guy on my left side is like battling me right now. So I'm going to kind of just like move over and since he's elbowing me to uh, get through. So I'm like, whatever. But you kind of have to just you know pick your battles and you know i'm happy to let him go because i don't want to be at the front right now so but i kind of in all of that i lost a, a couple of positions but still not in a bad spot and i'm trying to see who's going to have the best lead out and kind of coming into this race i was thinking like ardor and groove are probably the two teams to watch and you can see the groove rider flying up on the uh inside there but things get super tight through this turn. Ended up, you know, bumping some people, rubbed wheels with the guy in front of me and someone from behind. <laughs> so uh, pretty sketchy. And so I'm gonna have to use a lot of power to, um, you know, went up over 900 watts to kind of close the gap and get back in the position that I wanted to since, you know, I got forced into a bad spot through that turn. Um, but things kind of slow up a little bit, so, um, but I'm gonna take this turn really well, able to pass someone um, there, now I'm right back to where I wanna be, but definitely costed me some energy, you know, I'm at 189 beats per minute, so, um, 
But it, you can see, you know, riders coming up on the inside, and it's like if you're not moving up, you're moving back. <laughs> and uh, so have to spike up again the 900 watts. Um, gonna eat some wind here, but I'm like, I just need to get into position because, uh, especially since this is such a, you know. It's not super technical, but there's a lot of turns. There's not a ton of places to move up after this long straightaway right here. So um, now I'm actually kind of sandwiched between uh, the Ardor lead out. So, um, so I'm feeling pretty good. I'm gonna follow this Ardor rider. Uh, kind of, he's gonna bring me to the front here. And uh, so yeah, now I'm you know in that sixth, six, seventh position, feeling pretty decent, um, but again, it's just quite a battle up here. Um, and gonna get pinched here a little bit, um, and then I'm just gonna force my way between these two riders. Um, have to put on a lot of power, over 900 watts, uh, and I'm gonna try and slot behind this groove rider. Uh, so now I'm about second or third wheel. There's a guy on the inside, I'm gonna try to come and slot behind and yeah things are things are on right here so we have two corners to go uh someone's gonna kind of force me out wide here and uh i'm like all right this isn't too bad a position you know but i'm already my heart rate is jacked and i'm like on my limit and so come through this turn spike up over 1100 watts and i'm like all right I'm starting to pass people, but then I just die and didn't have great sustained power here. Um, and then I got kind of uh, bumped at the finish line. I was going to kind of do a, a bike throw, which probably wouldn't have made a difference, but ended up taking home uh, third on the day. So uh, nice little podium spot. Was definitely hoping for more. Um, you know, I was had a really good uh, positioning for the finish but definitely needed to try to be a little bit more efficient so that I didn't end up dying out on the finishing straight. But yeah, exciting race. Um, if you're ever in Colorado for Littleton, uh, definitely recommend it. It's a really fun race out there. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching. If you like these videos, definitely like and subscribe. It really helps grow the channel. And I'll catch you on the next one.